And another day of voting yields the same result with no changes from Idaho's congressional delegation. Idaho Representative Mike Simpson once again refused to cast his vote for Ohio's Jim Jordan in the race for the Speaker of the House. And it's drawing criticism from the Idaho GOP and question marks on the government's next steps forward. News Channel 7's Andrew Bartline talked with a political science professor about the speaker's race. Andrew, he says this is uncharted territory. Yeah, first because former speaker Mike McCarthy, or Kevin McCarthy, I should say, was the first person stripped of that position in our country's history. That's never happened before. But secondly, if House Republicans can't come to an agreement, highlighted by our representative Mike Simpson holding out, then the Democrats may be needed to come to an agreement, even if it's temporary. Lamborn. A tedious tally might move more like a monotonous monologue. Lamborn. Interjected by jabs Jeffries. in a mostly two horse race. Jordan. With scattered votes collecting Levin. in the margins. I think McCarthy was the first. Keeping a close eye. That's, yeah, that's, that's not going to look good in the Wikipedia <laughs> article. But. Is political science professor yeah. Charles Hunt. Speaker battle this pitched hasn't occurred since the 1850s. The House of Representatives only has a an acting speaker uh, who does not have a lot of powers and who cannot bring issues and votes to the floor. And so basically the House can't do anything right now. A clear problem in the headlights of a high ticket agenda. This potential looming government shutdown, aid for Ukraine on the table, getting aid for Israel on the table as well. A group of Republicans joined force with House Democrats to out former speaker, California's Nickel. Kevin McCarthy. The move was criticized by Idaho Representative Mike Simpson for, Iowa. quote, having no plan after their destructive vote. For these far right Republicans, McCarthy wasn't conservative enough. And evidently, neither was his pending replacement, Louisiana's Steve Scalise. A number of Republicans, they feel he was essentially railroaded, that he won this first sort of secret ballot vote within their conference to be their nominee for speaker but they, they turned on him and decided to go with Jordan instead. But Idaho's rep Simpson won't break loyalty. Scalise. Despite the air himself. Scalise. Bowing out. Jim Jordan. Jordan. Simpson's holdout has drawn criticism from the Idaho GOP, calling his actions disappointing, a delay tactic, and a protest vote. The state Republican Party can't make Mike Simpson do anything he doesn't want to do. He's ultimately only answer, answerable to his voters at the end of the day. As for the steps forward, Hunt says the House Republicans can continue to push Jordan, betting those protest votes are temporary and symbolic. That didn't happen. He lost votes on the second ballot, so I don't know what his path forward is. The second path could be the nomination of a new Republican frontrunner. If it couldn't be McCarthy, if it couldn't be Steve Scalise, and if it can't be Jim Jordan, it's hard for me to imagine what Republican in the House actually exists who really could pull all of these folks together. That brings us to the third option, unorthodox, but possible. Give the current acting speaker, uh, Patrick McHenry of North Carolina, additional powers at least for the next 50 or 60 days. That is something that I could see happening as kind of a stopgap solution until Republicans are ready to choose a longer term speaker. The House is not expected to vote again for a speaker today. Any successful candidate would need 217 votes to win that position. Representative Mike Simpson has promoted twice on Twitter, or X, the app formerly known as Twitter. He wants to get back in there and vote, though it doesn't seem he's interested in moving his support away from Scalise, continuing to hold out, at least not give support toward Jordan at this point, Shira. Yeah, a lot of eyes on this issue. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. All right, Andrew Bartline, thank you.